30 at this point? I was right around 30, yeah. I just turned 30 when he, when he said that to me. Um, but still, just didn't want to admit it, didn't want to, did, didn't know where to go. Looked at a couple places, but nothing was really helping. Um, uh, and so it was just kind of, I was just kind of lost, just kind of out there just doing, I knew I needed to change, but I had no idea or no skill set to even begin to think about changing. Yeah. Uh, so it was rough. And so were you like, did you have a place to live and stuff like I that? Thank goodness I always had a place to live. Um, a couple of times I was um, just couch surfing, um, but mm-hmm. I was still working. I was able to maintain um, working just enough to pay my bills and to, to get drugs and alcohol. Um, but I mean, I was just barely getting by. I, I came out to California to surf, but the last two years before I went back to, to prison, I didn't surf at all. Maybe a handful of times in two years. And I mean, I, that was the whole reason I came here. That whole culture, that whole vibe, but it, it, I mean, drugs and alcohol even ripped that from me. That was, I mean, that was my passion, um, and wow. it kind of just took that all away uh, to where I'd, I'd look at the ocean, but that, that was about as far as I get. Kind of blurry eyed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to close there. one eye. Yeah, someday I'll make it out there again. Yeah, yeah. But man, it was it, it had taken me drugs and alcohol had taken me so far from where I ever thought I would go, and, and put me in a spot to where I kept looking at myself, going, "This can't be my life. This can't be me." Uh, but yet here I was living it, you know, every morning waking up to the same old thing. Yeah. Uh-huh.